India is seeing a surge in COVID across the country. Kolkata's positivity rate is a staggering 60%, Mumbai is at 27% and Delhi and Chennai at 23%. You can see rapidly rising test positivity rates phenomenally high, 25%, 30%, even 60%. The immediate worry are the election campaign in five states. Rallies are banned till Saturday, but there are still small gatherings where masks and social distancing are largely missing. COVID trends in poll-bound states are a major cause of concern. Major cities in all five states seeing positivity rate of 5% and more. UP's weekly cases are rising at over 1300%. UP's reproduction number at 3.5, the highest versus India's 1.4. Less than 1% indicates spread of cases. 16 of 22 Punjab districts have positivity rate above 5%. Weekly positivity rate in all of Goa is over 23%. However, the centre today refused to say whether the ban on election rallies will be extended. Just that, they are sharing data with the election commission. As the situation evolves, it is the election commission with the election commission. It is the basis of the election commission. Top officials have urged the public to take Omicron seriously and warned that it can badly hit healthcare systems. Omicron is not common cold. This Omicron ki wajah se kahi teshon ke health system collapse ho gaye. Isi ki wajah se bahut had tak health workers ko ghar mein chutti leke baithna pada aur pressure pada. During assembly elections in five states last year, stricter curbs to contain the spread of COVID-19 were brought in by the Election Commission of India. And while similar curbs are expected this time as well, in the poll-bound states, amid a rising third wave of COVID-19 in the country, more important will be to see that whether these curves are implemented on the ground and respected by the political parties as well. With camera person Ashok Mahalia, Mukshidongle, Fine TV.